We are at war. Not a war in the natural sense of flesh and bone, but a war in the spiritual sense of our minds, will, and emotions. Cutting deep into the hearts of souls of everyone involved. And we are all involved. One cannot simply sit this one out. You will either be taken captive or fight the good fight against them. This enemy is unlike any ever fought before because it is not comprised of any earthly nation behind it. Nor is it a battle like those which we have been accustomed to. These battles are fought in an invisible realm. Battles over powers, authorities, and dominion over mankind itself. The enemy we face in hand-to-hand -hand combat on this battlefield is not a foe seeking to take your life or to leave you wounded on the ground, but one who seeks to take your very soul, ripping you from the protective hand of God. We may have bodies of flesh and bone, but that is not who we are. We are all beings of a spiritual supernatural nature, meant to live forever, and so we shall. This battle is set to determine in which realm you will do that. The weaponry used is not bullets, or missiles, tanks, or aircraft, but rather words spoken and either lie in deceit by the enemy or in truth by the Holy Spirit residing in God's chosen people. The enemy will come at you in crushing words that are meant to defeat you to the very core, to get you to give in or give up, even on life itself if they find root within you. Yet the outcome of this ongoing war itself has already been won. Victory was gained at a place called Calvary over 2,000 years ago, where Jesus died and rose again, snatching the very keys of hell from the devil's hands. So what battles then exist from a war already won? Battles of rebellion. Rebellious outposts of those who refuse to accept their defeat. The soldiers and warriors of God continue to clean up those rebellious outcasts. Those who would try to remain in power over unfortunate souls. They only temporarily succeed to those who believe in their lies. Yes, we are at war. A war set before us to bind the enemy and cast them out. As ambassadors of Christ, we openly declare the decree set forth from our King and enforce that decree set in place to the letter. We shall continue to do so until our King returns, claiming the land which is rightfully his and setting his banner over it. This book, God's Boot Camp, is a boot camp on how to combat, cast out, and defeat the enemy of this world. We, by the grace of God, have been given all power and authority over this enemy. Yet unfortunately, many do not know the power they hold, nor how to use it to defeat the enemy at hand. This book, God's Boot Camp, will show you how to do just that. The instructions given are from God's own word through scripture so there is no doubt of its authenticity. We are all at the heart of this ongoing conflict, whether we choose to believe it or not. 
the pillaging, rapes, and destruction is all around us. It escalates almost daily, but it does not need to be so. Adorn the armor God has provided you with to quench the devil's fiery darts. Learn how to combat this demonic onslaught across the land and set the captives free. Know the weapons God has given you for this violent conflict. Know who you are in Him, that you are a victor and not a victim. Help and defend those loved ones who are weaker than yourself. Release those held captive in the enemy's POW camps so they can rise to their callings once again. For the battle rages on, taking needless lives daily. Don't let the last shots of this conflict take you down. Not when we are so close to the return of our king. We, in his army, wait upon his return. But he, the king of kings, also waits upon us. For when the last soul has been won for Christ, then the trumpets will sound and our victorious king shall return.